Welcome back, Internet people. My name is Ryan, and today we are playing a really delightful video game where people just have lumps of flesh, green flesh, sitting outside um, their their homes. Uh, this is desperate. How no, was why? This is this is the thing where you consume the skanky bitch ho is ruining my son. He's just, she's ruining Alexandro. Oh, hey, what's up? I have something I need to ask you. I overheard him talking on the phone to someone. It sounded like he was planning something very violent. Let me guess. He was talking about some guy he knew being addicted and talking about wasting people? Yes. And waging war or something stupid like that too, right? You know what I'm talking about, and it doesn't even bother you? Ugh, it makes me sick. But there are people at our school that do worse things with their spare time. So, it's like whatever. <gasps> worse you things? You know what? I can't talk about this anymore. It's all that Fox Guy's fault anyways. Fox Guy? One of the, one of the weird, incestuous uh, gay lovers? The really weird one. They're both really weird. Thanks, Allison. That guy's getting getting my son hooked on the Xbox One. <laughs> I won't let this stand. Hello? Hello? Well, hello there. Hey, where's your brother? I'm doing well. Frank is actually out of town right now. Well, that's just great. Yes, it's perfect timing, too. Frank did something that fried part of the circuitry for the house. Our home security system is completely out of commission. Oh, so it's just anyone can break in and take whatever they wanted? Well, let's just hope nothing like that occurs. Uh, this is a safe neighborhood. I'm sure you have nothing to worry about. I certainly hope so. Why did Frank leave town? I'm not really sure. He had this old business partner in the city, but I haven't heard much about him lately. Well, Frank's a pretty private guy. I thought you two were close. Like, genitals touching close. Well, we talk a lot, but usually in short spurts. Spurts. For instance, <laughs> sometimes he starts blabbing about utter war or something like that. A lot of times, I just don't understand what he's talking about. Technical stuff and all that. It's rather odd. He's my brother, and if you had a sibling, you'd understand. Listen, you're probably right. Maybe we can talk again later on. I don't know. Very well, then. Goodbye. Goodbye. Alright, I'll just go upstairs. He doesn't seem to care. I was so I was so confused for a second. While Blanca goes upstairs, the only thing I could see is a toilet. I just sort of made this weird assumption that maybe this entire thing was only a toilet. Alright. Let's admire this signed lithograph. So beautiful. <laughs> I got some points of some kind for that. Can I take a bath in their bath? Apparently not. Alright, what is this utter war thing that he mentioned? That he uttered? See what I did there? Oh man, I'm the greatest. How do I search? Hamburger. Oh no. Hamburger isn't available. Harder Warfare is a futuristic real-time combat game that places you into the shoes of a soldier that has to defend the planet from the forces of the Ron invaders. Ooh is the first of many exciting titles to come from formless games. Just listen to what people have to say about this grand baking title. 10.2 out of 10. Spiteful Game Critic. There's no way you're ever gonna quit. The Entertainment Review. You'll want to take out every last one of them. Just play the game.net. Man, this game sounds great. Uh, Community Forums. I love Community Forums. This is where our fans can gather to chat, compare, start, and ah, who cares. This game sucks. I like using the mid-range assault rifle and taking the underground tunnels to sneak up on people from behind. That's good, but 
end the recon mission, you can do that. Lots of purple lay mines in the tunnel lane just to wait for you to blow up. The rocket launcher is really good too if you get someone on your team to get people from hog and famo. Wow, this is great. I want to play this game. Now we have to confront our son about playing a video game. I'm so excited. Alexandro! Alexandro, what are you doing? Alexandro. Hey. Hay is for horses. Making my... Did you enjoy yourself? Making me think my own flesh and blood was planning something violent? It's not a game, Alexandro. I heard about these things on the news, and I love you, but I get nervous. You're being a little overdramatic here, Mom. Yeah, I don't even know what I'm talking about, to be honest. I found out about that little warfare video game you've been playing. I was worried about you. Are you serious? All I know is I walked upstairs and heard all this crazy, violent talk. Things I never thought I'd hear coming out of your mouth. Killing and addiction, and you were talking about it all so coldly. So wait, how do you know what I've been doing? I uh, don't... Shh. I'm sorry, but what's that supposed to mean? It, well, it means... It means that when I'm worried about you, that I'll do whatever it takes to see that you're safe. You're my son! I didn't think it was that serious. I certainly thought it was, and I never overreact. Listen, I'm just happy this whole situation that I created almost entirely by myself is resolved. And you better be happy too, mister. If I'd known that's what you thought, I would have just told you. Well, what matters now is that everything is fine. But don't spend so much time on the computer, okay? I, I guess I could do that. Good. Especially when it comes to friends and family, truth can often be a dangerous thing. It sometimes seems concealing the truth from those closest to us is often the best course of action. On the other hand, when we discover what lies beneath, we may find the harsh reality forces us to grow even closer, even if it temporarily pushes us further apart. Sometimes we find out the hard way that knowledge can be a dangerous thing, and as Eve discovered in that infamous garden, too much of it can get you in a whole lot... Too much of it could get you in a whole lot... I think we're gonna make that... Thanks for. See you next time.